In this video I will try to explain to you in the most simple way how does a fourth dimension work and how you can easily imagine it. And before we get started keep in mind that I'm not a physicist or a mathematician so this by any means won't be like a professional explanation but this is kind of how I learn to understand it and I think it's the easiest. So first off we should probably start with explaining uh, each dimension before the fourth one. So I will insert a ball and we can consider this as a zero dimension of course that's not entirely true because this is a 3d ball because we can obviously see it if we go everywhere around it but imagine that this is just a dot and you have like a map a for example a gps map and when you have a gps map you can like set a destination so if we insert another part make it for example like a grass so you have uh, yourself like a grassland and let's just color this red so it's more recognizable and we're looking at it like above and now you can set like a waypoint and let's say this blue ball is you so this is yourself and then you need to drive your car to the red point and now you yourself do exist as well as the grasslands but the red point on the gps doesn't actually exist and sure while on your phone it is a 2d object it doesn't actually exist it's an imaginary thing it's just a placeholder and it's using mathematics to point out things and give examples so now that we have a zero dimension covered we can move on to the obviously first dimension and i know this technically isn't only a first dimension because as you can see it does go a tiny bit up but if we worked with something like this it will be really hard to see so i will cheat a bit and call this a first dimension so things in the first dimension can only go in a line so in a straight line they have a left and right and then after that we evolve to the second dimension which would look something like this so now you can go left and right and also up and down and now why am i explaining this to you because to understand the fourth dimension we need to understand how things inside of the second dimension imagine our 3d world let's get uh, to this man so we have uh, this silly uh, man face figure and now he can move in two dimensions he can go left right up and down and then he one day stumbles upon a deck of cards imagine like this is a card doesn't actually necessarily need to be a deck of cards that will be a 3d but imagine this is a card and now because he's really really smart and has studied a lot he knows the thing above him uh, beyond his world actually exists called third dimension of course he's in only two dimensions so he can't really see it but he knows it's there and now how can we uh, best visualize this if i turn on view selector and we go to the top so let's just rotate this so it makes more sense okay so now we have a top view of everything and let's duplicate this and now he still sees only one card but now to us in the third dimension we see that the second card is actually just above the first card but to him it still seems that there's only one card there and now why is this important because to understand the fourth dimension as i said before we need to understand how things inside the second dimension see the third dimension so it's important to know that these two cards don't overlap so they are per se on each other as the man in the second dimension sees it but they don't touch they do not overlap and now to show that that's actually important let's insert a cube and we'll make it four by four by four and now i will actually explain how you can see the fourth dimension so considering these two cards are actually in the third dimension and us in the third dimension world we can see them it's obviously two cards they are not touching but the man in two dimension again sees only one and for him y axis has no meaning to him he can't even comprehend it so same to us if we select this cube as you can see we have some axes we have the x we have the z and y but now what would happen if we added a fourth one for example w axis i think that's what it's called so let's try to actually make that and i will just recolor this so we know which one is which so i can explain it better so these are the three axes of the third dimension obviously we have left right front back and down and up but now let's add a fourth one as i said and of course this doesn't necessarily make any sense because it's still in a 3d world but just imagine a new space where there is like a fourth axis and things inside of it don't overlap with the things in the third 
two dimension. So to visualize this better, we can duplicate this cube and slightly move it. I'll just recolor the second one so we can see it better. So a normal cube in the third dimension looks like this, obviously we all know it, but in the fourth dimension it will look something like this. We don't really have the tools to make it look exactly as it's intended, but just imagine that on each of these corners, these two are connected together. So there will be one line from here to here, another from here to here, and another from here to here and all around the two cubes. So now I know I might have just confused you and didn't really explain much, but let's go back to the second dimension guy, as if we go at the top, which is how you see the two dimensions, to him it still looks like there's just one card, because he can see the things in Y axis, and even though to him it does look like these two are overlapping, they're actually not. As we can see, they're separated from each other. So same works with the fourth dimension, even though these two cubes do look to us like they are overlapping and touching each other, they are actually not. But that's because this is a simulation in the 3D world and I obviously can show you the 4th dimension because for us it's not possible to comprehend it. Another example I can show you is if we take this rig and create a wall, and imagine this is our 3D wall, it's like real life, you obviously can't look to the other side of the wall, actually through the wall, but beings outside of our three-dimensional wall, inside the fourth dimension, in theory could probably just look besides the wall. Same as with the cards example, if I duplicate this, and in the 2D world this looks like a one card, and obviously in the three world we can see that it's not only one, it's just above it. So that's how the beings in the higher dimensions can see every dimension below them.